I had a favorable result when I went out to the park and I had temporarily attached a wide angle lens to my Dronium and flying this thing FPV with a pair of goggles with the standard setup that the drone has right now was pretty treacherous. Now I had temporarily installed this with uh, what would you call it just like a self tack putty and you can just simply put it around the rim of the uh, not the rim but the, the back rim of the lenses itself as a ter temporary attachment. I'll try to put a picture up if I've managed to save it and uh, I like the results. The modified Dronium 3 video is that's what it was. I had temporarily attached the lens to it. All those flights were the very first flights with it. So I liked it so much I am going to permanently attach those lenses to the drone. Just a basic little uh, lens kit that you can get for your cell phone. This is just a little cheapy one. Uh, I think they're like $3.50 each or something like that. Then again, the quality of the optics that they have, that pretty much reflects it. But for my purpose, it works well. I can always get higher grade lenses later. This one comes with a fish eye. Do the best I can. The one I'm interested in is the wide angle lens. Let's see if I can put this up there for you. Don't know if the field of view is that good for you, but and then it also has a macro. And there it goes. Nice little added bonus. I like it because it's multi-purpose. So you can have standard view, a 180 fisheye, wide angle, or macro. All you're choosing. What we're going to do is, is use this ring right here on the end of this clip. Cut it off right here. I'm going to try not to destroy the clip because I may be able to use this for something else. First things first, <clears throat> take the lid off and get to the insides. Take a look at the camera. Alrighty there. So there's your camera. There we go. So what I'm going to do is, is carefully take this camera, this little piece attached to the ribbon right here, out carefully. First I'm going to take off the hot glue, then gently, and I do mean gently, remove the camera from this little cradle right there. Being careful not to snap that little ribbon cable right there, because you break that, well, there goes, you know, pretty much 70% of why you got the drone in the first place. You don't want to crack this little plastic case open right here. So that's what I'm going to do, and I am staying far away from that ribbon cable. All right, let me grab a sewing needle. Just keep manipulating it. It'll eventually come out. Just like so. Alright. Spin it around the other way. Get underneath the camera. Voila. Now the main reason I want to do this is because I'm going to be using a Dremel. Ultimately using super glue to seal the deal. And you definitely don't want the vapors of the super glue getting on that lens. So, this also gives me an idea of what kind of material I've got to work with. So, not much. I want to save as much of the bezel in front of the camera as I can. So, it keeps the camera in place. So, I want this to be flat and even. Here comes the point of no return. Going to use a rough sander for this. A little at a time. Have this piece ready to go. Alright, so there's four screws. Gently take this out. And where the SD card goes, that's kind of how it secures itself on the bottom. Just so you know, putting it back is going to be a pain. 
The reason I'm taking this out is to make it easier and less dangerous to use the dremel on the front of the drone. That's the receiver antenna. I'm going to just loosely cover up everything so no, none of the plastic particles get up in this thing. Next, I only need to move this back just a little bit. All right. Rock it out of there. So we're going to be removing a pretty substantial part. So what I want to do is center that. To hold the angle of the pencil, keeping it flat as much as possible. Alright, it's a rough profile of what we're going to have. I'm not really sure if you can see that, but that's generally what it's going to be. Switching to the stone wheel, basically for the front facing area keep this in mind at this point you need to decide if you're going to opt out or continue forward and a bit of artistic skill will help in this endeavor too so you know just take your time because if there's one thing for sure you can't put it back real easy Just a little bit at a time. Don't go crazy. So far so good. Now I'm not going beyond the lines that I have drawn on the drone. Yeah, see, I'm gonna have to take more off the top. I was trying not to go all the way through the top, but ultimately it looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do in order to keep it centered. Just about took off a little bit too much on the bottom right there. All right. Definitely don't want to go too far because I don't want to get into where the actual camera is going to be setting itself. All right. Let's take a look. It still needs to go up just a bit more. All right. There's that one. A little bit better. Just a little at a time. Get her glued up. Just to give the super glue a little something to bite onto. Good enough. That was a big drop, so we'll put that on the bottom. Spread it around. Center it up. Looking good. JB Weld. I'm not too worried about aesthetics, but form follows function. My goal is function. Now this will effectively reinforce the frame when it is dry. Bit of denatured alcohol on that. Let that bad boy set up. 